tranquility, I would say, is like an inner sense of peace. Maybe like a blank canvas. It's nothing tarnished or, or anything of that nature. It's just very pure and calm. I always just want to go like this because I instantly think of being mindful and, you know, namaste and that whole kind of belief system. But yeah, so I think that's... You're always like hustling and bustling. There's stress and you're worried and your mind's constantly elsewhere. So like being able to get, you know, almost be mindful of that and calm everything is like very healthy and it reminds you like, you know, of who you are and your place in the world and this bigger thing rather than all this, you know, these distractions. So I think that's very important. To me, tranquility is a state of mind. It's the, it's the ability to be at peace with yourself, to be alone and to not have to worry about anything that's going on. Just to be almost if you could think of it as being at a river and you can just hear the water flowing and you're at peace. You can hear the birds chirping. You can close your eyes and you can imagine yourself at a place where you're the only person that's there. Just a state of being calm and a state of being. If tranquility was a color, it would be it would be a greenish blue. There would be more green than blue. But the reason I'm picking those colors is because you see a lot of green in nature. So naturally for me, I view tranquility from a green perspective. But at the same time, I look at in in no matter where you are in nature and you're sitting just admiring the, the greenery and the scenery around you you're always you're always part of the sky so as you look up at the sky there's always the bluish tinge so if there was some way to to marry the sky with the greenery that would be my color for tranquility a mixture of green and blue so my favorite color probably be times I've spent on the Charles River in Boston because um, you're surrounded by you know this all these huge skyscrapers and lights and you know but when you're on the river um, kind of there's it's actually pretty quiet so it's almost like you're in this bubble and a lot of people will go there and watch like sunsets you'll see people just sit and like just stare at the city from a distance and it's it kind of has this surreal kind of feel to it and people bring like their instruments and the pictures and stuff that I've taken there I've always just felt very at peace um, so anytime I wanted to escape like the busy city like I'd go there and it would just kind of bring everything back home so we went to this beautiful beach the southernmost tip of Goa and we we walked out around 6 37 in the evening we walked out into the water there was a there was a small opening and there were rocks all the way past the beach at least a quarter of a mile out into the water and we climbed over the rocks and we finally got to the literally the last rock and we're sitting there on the rock Stephanie and me just looking out at the waves and the sun started to to descend and it was this gorgeous gorgeous evening beautiful sky lit up with this with the colors of the sun as they as the sun started to 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 descend and all around us i could hear nothing but the waves crashing into these rocks and we could hear seagulls up there just you know we could hear seagulls in the air and a little a little breeze and it was complete calm. I think we all try to achieve tranquility as a state of mind, but then we probably all would like to manufacture tranquility. The beauty of tranquility is what an individual sees and how an individual 
comes to a state of mind where he or she is at peace with him or herself. That is tranquility. It's the ability to reset. To If you could almost have a reset button in your mind and you wanted to just forget about everything that was going on. If you could just turn it off and turn it on like a light bulb. That would be tranquility. And so it has to be a state of mind because every person differs in their opinion of tranquility. I think tranquility must smell like pine needles um, and not overpowering, very subtle, but, but very much there and all around, um, not too sweet, um, but just very, very fresh. Tranquility smells like the first smell you get when you get rain after a long time. If you're sitting somewhere and it starts to rain, especially if it's been a while, as the rain, as the rain comes down for a couple, five or ten minutes, you get this distinctive smell of the rain. You, you, the place that you're at changes completely. You smell the rain, you start to smell nature because the rain takes away all the dirt that's around you and what's left is nothing but what God gave us. And the rain, I believe, helps to, to take, to wash away all the dirt and make you smell nature. Uh, I kind of want to say it would smell like rain, like fresh rain on like pavement or something.